So this is the Exoterra 12 by 12 by 12 on the right. I currently have a green bottle blue in there. So that is what it is set up for. On the left, I have the Tranchula Cribs 12 by 12 by 12 cube. So they are both the same size. As you can see, main differences, um, the first obvious one is the Exoterra is front opening and the Tranchula Cribs is top opening. I currently have the top off of it because I knew that with filming I would not be able to lift the top off with one hand because these magnets are very, very strong. I'll show you right here. Sorry. Like very strong magnets. But um, since this is front opening and this one isn't, they serve different purposes. This green bottle blue is not a burrower. It is a big Weber, so it does not need a lot of substrate. You would not put a tarantula in this enclosure that needs a lot of substrate. Whereas right here, I'm gonna put my a Samani in it because it needs a lot of substrate. I can fill this up pretty high because right here, the air holes start right here. So that really, all of this could be substrate if needed which I'll probably fill it pretty high like that so that she could burrow all that she wants. Another big difference is something that I haven't even fixed yet. If you have an exoterra for tarantulas, this is a mesh top and tarantulas can get their toes stuck in it. Luckily mine isn't much of a climber so it hasn't been an issue but I still do need to change this out for just in case. It's best to put an acrylic piece on here so that they can like so that the lid is more like that and their toes won't get stuck or caught in the mesh because I hear if that happens they will sometimes pull their legs off if they're dangling so that is something you do not want for your tarantula the exoterra is made of glass it is a very nice very heavy duty enclosure in my opinion. I've not had any issues with it and I've had her in it for um, maybe six months or longer. I can't remember and I haven't put a tarantula in here yet obviously um, but it is acrylic but it is it's heavy duty. This is a heavy enclosure like picking it up I was really surprised at how thick and heavy it is. You can see right here the thickness of the acrylic it should last a very long time. So now that you can see some obvious differences, we're gonna go ahead and put a tarantula in it. So I just moved Andromeda into her new enclosure. She has a lot more space to dig. I hope she likes it. I put her out of the cup right next to the water bowl because I've never seen a tarantula so obsessed with water. She sits in her water bowl so much. So I thought that might be the best way to adjust her, put her next to something that she really loves and enjoys. She has two hides, a pork bark hide, and that is a, I don't know, some sort of pre-made hide. Can't remember who it's made by. But I think this enclosure is gonna be absolutely perfect for her. I am very, very surprised with how much substrate it holds. I guess it makes sense because it's a cubic foot. So I had a lot of substrate in a bag and it used all of it. I could have actually put a little bit more if I had more, but I used everything I had because I did not expect it to just take it all in like that. But there she is, my big beautiful girl in her new home. <laughs>